Elliot from the Bearcat TV with Craig, of course. Now, if you hear some background noise, etc., at the uh, Call of Duty launch. Yeah, event. I don't know how many strange ones. Yeah, I was Craig was no, we, got, we got some just, wine. Just to meet L at uh, Ball Street, where we do some videos. And then, for some reason, you, you got an invite to the Call of Duty launch, and, and we're in the green room, which I think Dali Ali. Dali Ali, yeah, Hector Bell, Bell here a few minutes ago. Carl yeah. Jenkinson, Chris Kamara. Yeah. We just snuck in. We sneaked in and we're drinking, drinking wine. Yeah. So this is a laid back pitch uh, <laughs> yeah. for, for third 11. Yeah, so let's run through the team. Of course, I don't know why I've got this now. <laughs> of course, Lee Grant has to start. Lee Grant has to start. That's, that's that one done and dusted. Did I think that does the back four pick itself. It Bardsley, does. Bardsley, Bardsley, Shawcross, Martins, Indy, Peters. Or well, Peters was a bit daft. On Monday, but yeah, he was not the rest. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't just. Um, that's that. That's the back four done. Now that's that sorted. Now we're in midfield. Jeff Cameron's out. So who's partnering Glenn Whelan? Does it Charlie Adam again? Do you give him Bula a shot? It's. I think Charlie was quite good. I thought Charlie Adam was very good going forward, but the problems with Adam, as has always been the case, is defensively, he's a bit slow. And that a bit combined, he was clocked as the second or <laughs> first slowest player in the Premier League. Was he? Yeah. yeah. I don't know I'm In the Crouch for one and two. Yeah, I don't know I'm surprised. We've got the top two, it's good. Um, so it'll be Crouch. Oh, not Crouch. It'll be Whelan and Adam. I think they're very good players. I do rate Whelan and I rate Adam going forward. Combined as defensive midfielders away from home, I think the word slow slightly springs to mind. Um, but at the same time, you can't change your winning team, so I, I don't know. I, I probably will go with that. Yeah, it's probably not the right time for Bula to come back into the no, side. No, he's going to play him and him have a leave at performance. No, no. Um, obviously, Joe Allen keeps his spot. Obviously, we Joe field. keeps his spot. Yeah, and we'll just finish the places we know. Boney <laughs> yeah. and also start up top. Those two linking together, as shown in Monday Night Football. Looking good. Assist. Joe assisting Wilfred. Joe yeah. assisting Wilfred. Looking good. We'll Looking take good. that all day long. Now the big issue that we have for Saturday is Arnautovic is banned and Shakiri is injured. Yeah. Mark Hughes has confirmed today that he's not going to feature. He's, well, he doesn't think he's going to feature. I'm getting so frustrated with Shaq's muscle injuries. It's like, it must uh, be the size so of his annoying. legs. It must be prone to injuries because of that thing. I mean, uh, it, you know, it can't be helped to a point that it's so frustrating. It's been Shaq's whole Stoke career, a few glimpses of decent performance, all the rest of it. Then he's injured and it's it's doing me over now. It's, a, yeah, it's too bad, but just when he gets going, this happens. It always happens. Yeah, he was in some good form. He was. Yes. But we've got to pick who's on our wings. I think Sobby after Monday, and you know, bet, forget Monday anyway. After you know that performance, he, he, he keeps that place. Yeah, I think he's been very, very unlucky not to make more squads and sub appearances since the whole game. So yeah, Sobby straight in there, straight in. Now right midfield. So I what, know who you want and I know who I want and they're yeah. different. So let us know if you agree with who you agree with. There might be someone who wants the other choice that none of us have even got. Option number three. Craig wants John Walters, say why. <laughs> I'm going to get slow with this. I guarantee more people will agree with your choice. The reason I'm going with John Walters is because he's played on the wing dozens and dozens of times. So that, that's his general position really for me. So he's experienced. West Ham away is going to be very difficult and we need somebody more than anything, is going to work his bollocks off. Somebody is going to trap and protect that right flank. Um, the other options, my which, option, which I'm going to go for, yeah, is Boyan. And I'm gonna, I say that because he's so eager to get back into the side. I think he's played that position a couple of times, maybe against Man City earlier in the season. He can play on the right. He obviously isn't a natural winger, so he'll cut inside, yeah. which can still work for us. And I just think he's going to be eager. He's going to want to cement some spots somehow for it. Say Shaq's out for a couple of games. He'll yeah. want to nail down a spot. He wants to play. You can tell how eager he is. And for me, I would have Bojan in there. Obviously, we've both left out Juf. Yeah. That's our other option on the right. I, I, like, I like Juf. For me, he's not a winger. No, he's not. I like Juf. He's but he's... Again, with Bojan, like I said. Yeah, I, I think Juf is... He was left out of the squad last game, so he yeah, wasn't even I do in worry squad. for his Stoke future a little bit with Bonnie coming in. And Crouch is getting on before Duke at the moment. And Bonnie's basically a, a better version of Duke. Bojan is ultimately on the wing. I love him nothing more than Bojan to back in the squad to perform. But I just don't think the wing is his position. He needs space, he needs to be in a position where he's not under too much pressure. And I don't think he'll track it. We need that. I'm going to get slow for that. Everyone will agree with that. Before we get kicked out of the green room, we'll wrap it up there. That is our preferred 11, which is. Um, well, you, you heard what it was. That's our preferred 11. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.